Thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Wagwan. I'm good. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You feel better now? Yeah, I feel better now. Great. Yeah. What was going on? No, it was... Uh, <laughs> Don't worry. Inside joke. Inside joke. Yeah. Inside life. And joke. you cannot carry all. No, we don't know. We are not. We are not Italian. Oh, this joke is no, just Italian. Okay, I don't care. Yes. I don't care. Moving on, real quick. Are you sure you don't? I care? don't care. Are you sure you care? don't know? No. Don't ask me after. You just have to say I'm a Malian, and we'll tell you. Yeah. We'll give you full gist. Is it money? Well, just well, say you're Malian. Malian. I'm not interested. You don't want to be a Malian. No, I'm not. There you. Sorry. Okay, then you can't have the we'll money. Just share the money. Then. Yeah, we'll share, we'll share. People say, come and beg me. <laughs> anyway, the National Film and Video Censors Board has burnt over 50 million naira worth of confiscated illicit, unwholesome, and unapproved movies and video works, including mass pornographic films at the Federal Secretariat Complex, Kawo Kaduna, in a post shared on the Instagram page of the Executive Director of NFVCB, Alhaji Thomas. He said one of the key facilitators of the objectives of the economic recovery and growth plan of the president, Muhammadu Buhari-led administration is the continuous improvement on respect for and enforcement of intellectual property and ownership rights in the film industry. Industry players lose billions of naira to adulterated, smuggled, and unclassified works through unlicensed agents and distributors. The activities of these individuals or groups have negative effects or impact on the society, demoralize stakeholders, and tend to disincentivize existing investors and discourage potential investors. Mm. So this was happening in Kaduna. Kaduna. Mm. I, I, I was just thinking, can they just come to Alaba? Yes. No, no, I mean, I think the um, time to think they'll get there. there to, no, they, they to burn. Way to burn them, to raid them, and then they will go. You know, I mean, this is just the destroying of the materials. It must have been a day that they went to raid those people mm -hmm. and then burn the material. They Doesn't do that at Alaba. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the point doesn't mean they won't be back but i feel like if they keep putting this pressure on them they know that as they are doing their wrong things they are coming to destroy it soon mm. and with time like you rightly said every time that things don't gradual happen process, overnight right? it's a gradual okay. process i feel like this alhaji adi dayo thomas the executive director of nfvcb mm. is actually he's proactive actually, yeah, mm. and um, he's trying to do a lot with and he's actually communicating yeah, yeah. he's yeah, communicating so long, so. he's using his social media platforms um right mm. so his team i think they're doing a good job and i hope that people around him and even the people pirating will realize that it is time mm. to make nigeria great I again mean, people <laughs> You cannot just be ruining people's effort. They yeah. put money, time, energy, and everything into making a movie or music. Even porn. And then you just sit down and there. And you just sit down <laughs> yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. They destroy they porn. No, she's <laughs> putting a lot of time and effort. Yeah. Even Don't porn. they put Don't effort they put to make it? put in that. Mm. Well. If I, you would know, really. I, I would have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> so, I mean, people need to start, you know, making enough profit on their investments and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. These people need to slow down. Every time, they, it seems like they're not just reducing. Yeah. In traffic, you see them everywhere. A movie that just got to the cinema yesterday, you already seen it. To the oh, traffic. yeah, by like, the way, what? why you guys are watching, um, what's it called, The Fall from Grace and mm -hmm. Netflix? Mm. Some of us have seen it on um, a 3D screen, large screen, and you Where? know, it's, don't worry. I told you I'll see it in my girlfriend's house, right? Then I've seen oh, it. so your girlfriend specializes in Paris movies. No, I bet I like you. <laughs> hey, what is it? No fun from you. I'm, just, I'm trying to understand. You can download from Netflix there, so I think uh, she got it from Netflix. And she, what, what did she teach you after watching it? What was, that means what was she the has, she has, Does she have a Netflix account? And then she downloaded it on that please, Netflix not account. Not for my girlfriend's details. <laughs> please, let's just move on to this. So, intellectual property is something that um, she, we shouldn't play with. Mm. So, in case people are saying that you, that you just went to watch it for something. <laughs> <laughs> no. But the truth is... Um, a lot of, like you rightly said, a lot of people put in their time, their effort, their money to create these things and then somebody sits in a corner and then you try to reap where you did not sow. I think that is very, very wrong and um, I just hope somebody won't be reaping where you have sown as well, you mm. understand, because that's the prayer you need to be praying for yourself every day if you're doing that kind of thing. So, um, I like what these guys did in Kaduna and like you said from the beginning, Alaba, they need to burn that place down because that is where all of these things <laughs> come from. 
I think when they see that people are, are not patronizing them, they will stop. Mm. We, I mean, Nigerians, we need to take responsibility and know that it can be your movie, it can mm. be your brother's movie, it can mm. be your anybody. I mean, it can be anybody's movie. So stop patronizing pirates. If I tell your girlfriend, thank you. No, she. I think she downloaded from Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> She's downloaded it from the right she source. She okay. said thank you at the end. Let's ah, just move on. I'm and, I'm and I'm trying to explain that she got it from the right source. Thank this you. is not uh, stealing of intellectual property. Okay, thank, thank you. you. But just reminder. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the next story. Lagos is not a mega city. It is suffering. Human, this is coming from human rights um, lawyer Ayo Shogunro. He said Lagos has to be the only city in Africa where people unwillingly leave home at 5 or 6 a.m. daily to get to work within the same city, often for relatively small pay. This is a failure of governance that adds even more hardship to the lives of people. Good rest is important, end of quote. He went on to say that he hopes that Abu and other major cities in Nigeria do not end up this way. Hmm. This one is deep because <laughs> that 5 a.m. and 6 a.m., you're, you're on the road by 5 a.m. and the traffic is already so crazy. Mm. And you're wondering, like, where, where they are going they from? going to? Where are these people They're coming from? Mm. No, by 5 a.m.? Mm. I feel like 5 a.m., this guy didn't even say the truth because some, some people at 4. At 4, some live 3.30. Ask oh. people staying in Ikorodu and they're working at VI or Aja. Mm. And you know the time I understand. So Lagos really, well, well, people will tell you that's what makes a mega city because if you want to compare it to New York, New York is also synonymous to traffic, um, with traffic as well. So it's uh, it's like that's how the categorize mega cities, the us where the hustlers are, where the work is always done, where the PC, the city that never sleeps. But um, we can't call it a mega city if we don't have proper traffic system because. If we are talking about New York, they have you know what's causing the gridlock. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But here you will see that you will be on you'll be standstill traffic for three straight hours. And you'll get, and you get to the front and you will not see a single yeah, thing. It's just yeah. people trying to maneuver, people mm -hmm. trying to cut they're corners. On it. Yeah, I was gonna get there. We are also the cause of our own problems. Yeah. Like impatience. Sometimes you know, okay, so this is a T junction. You're coming from this side and you're going to the next road and there is a person here you know that there is this place is blocked if mm. you drive in the space is not going to be enough for your car mm. but you decide to block the people on this side because mm. you just feel like you have to be the one moving our mindset when we are driving is something we need to sit down and discuss mm. there is a problem it's actually in Lagos state there is a big problem the way people act when they're driving like if they don't move an inch at this point they are going to drop and die there's a particular I, lesson I feel, when feel, you go I, to driving school they tell you that assume that the next driver is insane mm. do you understand so don't assume like the next person is okay so you need to be conscious so when people move like that oh, why are you looking at me like and then they get to the junction where they're supposed to turn right mm -hmm. and start disturbing people yeah. like didn't you know you were going to turn right when you decided to stay on the left side of the lane it's it's just common sense and well they say common sense and then i don't know i don't know wow. maybe it's just me but lately have you guys discovered that lagos stinks I mean, that was that was where that was where I was going. Like right right now is now very ridiculous. I don't know why you I cannot. I don't understand. You, you like this morning was horrible. I was in areas. Yeah, very clean. It's it, but smelly. the smell as in everywhere is stinking, and I'm wondering what's going on. Like sometimes you could be suspect who you carry. You know, looking at them suspect. <laughs> I, I, I was going to talk about it, like when you guys are done with the traffic. The next thing is that Lagos things right now, yeah. and even like clean environment, you'd be wondering why. This smell coming sewage. from, and someone, yeah, yeah. someone was like it's the sewage, and then the thick gutters mm. are just there. Nobody and like I said to like the previous one, we also contribute. So mm. I was in the cab coming to work this morning, and I saw someone throw something out of the car. They, they were done drinking from the plastic and just straight boom. And at that point, I felt like I could just come down and pick that thing. You know, one of these. I was, I was very and proud of myself. Me. Speaking of this, okay, so Why it was actually it was actually someone we all know. Mm. We're all going home, and then she threw something out of the window. And then I parked and I said, "Please, can you go get what you to? Just don't worry, throw it in my car. Don't worry, I'll take care of it." Aww. So be like me. Mm. 
mm. at least mm. that one you're good. The other one we spoke so about we traffic. To, which <laughs> other one? <laughs> we, we, need need to take, we need to take responsibilities as well yes. as the government needs to do what they're supposed to do. Mm. I mean, they're working on this though. Mm. And that's yeah, roundabout yeah, is yeah, going especially in the traffic I, system. I look at trying. the demolition with pride every day. <laughs> you know, I think they are they're doing everything possible to mm. make sure that these things they they find solutions, even if it's not. Um, taking, of course, it cannot be totally eradicated. Like yeah. the rule of not paying at the toll gate. I think that's the Lekki Koei toll gate yeah. um, with cash. cash. That has to be um, electronic. So they are working, but we also have to play our own role. Drive like a human being, and mm. I mean, just try, right? And I think we should have. Um, now I don't know if I should say this because I'm scared. The ones we have out there, I don't think they are doing their job. Mm. More law enforcement. No, no, we don't want to. <laughs> no, 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 the ones we have. That's what I'm saying now. Yeah. I don't I know think, if I should say this because I don't know if the ones out there Police are officers really are not even now. supposed to ask you for your driver's license or your car papers. But a lot of people do not know these things. Mm. It's not part of their duty. And I don't know if you guys heard about um, the new rules they gave SARS. They are not supposed to interfere with any civil matter or, mm. or fraud. All those things what just rules is, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. If you know your rights, huh? you will, you will if stand. If I know your rights on this topic, I will not have <laughs> In this premises. <laughs> anyway, Ah, uh, really? I'm uh, so lost. Thank you for break. It will be time for more stories <laughs> when we come back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. This is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. The worst thing that can, okay, let me put it this way. The worst thing you can do is listen to what I have been through and put me through it again. This is coming from Blossom Chuku Jeku's ex wife, Maureen ECC. Advocating for better communication in relationships, she said, until men and women start having honest conversations about who they truly are, um, what de demon they battle with, where they lack and what they truly want, love will continue to be temporary emotion. Honesty and communication are key um, to being, to stop being afraid to speak on who you are. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so, so men don't care. They will listen and put you through that with no remorse. Is, 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 <laughs> ah. You can relate. It's touching my chest. <laughs> See, there's no English for it. I mean, men don't care. Look, like, as the next one come, I'm like, what happened? Mm. Why would you treat a fine girl like you like that? Ah, he's about to do what? <laughs> I was going to say, it's probably like, it's just, it's just trying to figure it, out what's your weak point, and that's where it's coming for. Exactly. So it's just, I don't know. So when you say communicate more, things <clears> like <throat> this makes it difficult for people like me to really open the inner part of my mm. heart. Like, you still keep some things to yourself. You shield yourself. And that way, still disturbing the relationship in the long run. On the long run, so I don't I know. I think it's just very complicated. It's, it's, it's complicated. It's just at the end of the Asha day. <laughs> I was, honest, I was, I was like, at the end of the day, just pray to God to mm -hmm. help you pick somebody that would really appreciate you mm -hmm. and not, you know, have distractions and, and not look for your weak points, weak from, points your from your weakness. So they to, to tune you, like because you control. <laughs> At the end of the day, you notice that when people tell their relationship story, it's like, oh, history has a way of rewriting itself mm -hmm. because they are all doing the same thing, kind mm -hmm. of. And at the end of this, because you've told them, okay, this is what happened, and then they already know your weak point, that's what they will use. Which is why I have to. actually stopped telling a potential boyfriend what the ex boyfriend did. One, and right. secondly, I don't respond to what do you expect in the relationship. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's do yourself. Let, let me know. Let me know. But if you're not saying anything. Because, it's <laughs> because you're guilty as charged. No, 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 mm. no, no. 
communication is very key in every relationship, but especially she communicates when, all. yes, <laughs> <laughs> especially when you know um, your woman's weak points it helps you not to do the same thing or not touch those areas you know the sacred parts of a woman like a heart if now you sound like somebody that is about to break someone's heart please no, don't, go don't ahead, scare go my wife <laughs> your wife, your wife. <laughs> ah, God. this girl you're trying to you say rejoice with those that are rejoice <laughs> you say i rejoice with I'm you happy don't, 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 don't scare her because okay. um, at the end of the day she's told me a darkest secret Aww. she's told me the the worst things that has happened to her in previous relationships. Mm. She's told me how she's had her heart broken so many times, and mm. I've made her promise never to do those things. How many girls? 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 How many but now that I know better, okay. I can't do that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes. now, now I know better. Do you understand? So, especially what happens most times when things like this happen is that those men are actually not ready. Mm. But I think the prayer should be to find a man yeah. who is actually ready to take you for all you are and take you for everything and is also ready to set you down. Do you understand? But as long as that man... They, see, they want all of you. Even <laughs> as, as long as that man isn't ready, mm. there is no way he will not make the same mistake as the ex-man. Mm. Do you understand? Right. So let's just be prayerful and say that, okay, let's find a man like me. Mm. And I mean, like who? Let's <laughs> <laughs> find a man like him. Well, he's ready. Like I'm, I'm ready, and I went for what I want. Mm. Do you understand? Especially. Yeah. <laughs> what is yeah? You guys should be happy for me. And we, are, we, are, uh, we rejoiced with you some minutes ago now. Then do say yeah. Okay. Tell us congratulations. Congratulations. No, tell her. Shake me first. Tell her. Then you take this hand and I want to shake her. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, at the end of the day, just pray for your own man. Yeah. Because to be honest, I, mean, I was listening to um, somebody speaking, and then the person was saying something like, "If you've not gotten to your man." You will keep, you keep saying, going. Yeah, yeah, you keep going. And men mm -hmm. will keep, you know, messing you up, breaking your heart because they are not meant for mm -hmm. you. Let's so not call it mess up. Just enjoy it while it lasts. Right. Yeah, mm. let's just say that way. Enjoy you find your own man. Yeah. yeah. Okay, mm. that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel and subscribing at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my co anchors Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshokaye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.